and you're listening to Communities Live on Sheffield Live Radio 93.2 FM with me, Susie Casson and T-Boy, and we're joined in the studio by Devon Smith, Sarah Morgan and Laura von Nordheim from Pint of Science. Welcome everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Kept T-Boy busy out there, I think. <laughs> so, first of all, could you briefly introduce yourselves? Yeah, so um, I'm uh, Sarah Morgan. I'm a neuroscientist working on the genetics of Alzheimer's disease. Fantastic. Uh, my name is Laura. I'm a postgraduate researcher at University of Sheffield and I look into food advertising and children's eating behaviour. Excellent. Uh, and I'm Devon. I'm a second year PhD student looking into kidney disease and I'm also the co-organiser of Pint of Science Festival. Great. Oh, thank you for coming in. Um, so, first of all, what is Pint of Science? Uh, so Pint of Science is a non-profit organisation which aims to bring some of the most brilliant researchers from all around the country, but here obviously from Sheffield, to the comfortable venue of a pub uh, to kind of tell you all about what research is going on in Sheffield and giving you the opportunity to ask those questions you've always wanted to. Fantastic. So can you tell us briefly a little bit about the venues? Yeah, so uh, we have six themes for the festival this year and they're being held at six venues, so I can briefly go through them. Yeah, so we have The Holt, which is a nice kind of funky cafe on Arundel Street, and that will be holding um, Atoms of Galaxies, I believe. <laughs> I'm now questioning myself, but I think that's right. Um, we've also got Harrison's Bar, which is just off Glossop Road, which is a nice kind of relaxed spot, and that's holding Beautiful Mind. Uh, we have the Sentinel, which is holding our body, um, and that's a nice brewery and bar with some nice tasty snacks. Uh, the Old Queen's Head, which is one of the oldest public houses, I believe, in Sheffield, that's holding our society. Uh, we have the Great Sheffield Tap, another brewery, uh, right at the train station, which is for planet Earth. And we also have Couch, which is holding Tech Me Out, and that's a nice quirky kind of coffee cafe shop turning into a, a pub for the festival. Fantastic. So the different strands in different venues. Yes. So we've kind of tried to spread it across the city and try to get as many unique and varied venues involved in the festival to kind of show off the great venues all across Sheffield itself. Yeah. It's a brilliant idea, isn't it, to bring the work of the university more to the public? Yeah, so that's, that's the idea because yeah. I think people want to know about the research that's happening in Sheffield, but... They don't always want to go to a, a lecture hall in the university. It's a little bit intimidating sometimes, and bringing it out to the pub just makes it more attainable and more comfortable, and people can just really enjoy themselves and hopefully learn something new. Yeah, brilliant. And is it a national thing? It is, yes. So it started in London by uh, two PhD, well, post-PhD students, um, Praveen and Michael, uh, they were at Imperial College London and they, like I said, they wanted to get the research out of the lab and into a more comfortable environment. Um, so from 2013, it, it started in about three cities, I think like London, Cambridge um, and maybe Oxford. And now it's over in over 150 cities all around the world. So it's really spreading. Yes, sounds brilliant. So can I ask you, Sarah, how you're involved with Point of Science? Uh, so I'm giving a talk next Monday and uh, my talk's on how neuroscience will prevent a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> right, <laughs> <not> interesting. <laughs> and Laura, can I ask you how you're involved? Yes, I will be speaking at the Queen's, um, Queen's Head, is that The Old right? Queen's Head, The yes. Old <laughs> Queen's Head. I haven't been to this venue before. I've been to Couch and to Sentinel Brew House. I can really recommend those venues. Um, yeah, I will be speaking about food advertising, children's eating behaviour, because at the moment the problem is that we have a lot of junk food on TV and on billboards and on the internet and I would like to use that powerful influence of advertising to promote health. And that's what the talk is going to be about. Yes, that's fantastic. Sammy, can you tell us a bit more? That sounds intriguing about zombies. <laughs> so, uh, I zombies are uh, one of my favourite topics. I love zombies. And so I kind of decided to go through the symptoms of zombies and how it's affecting the brain and really come at it from a, a neuroscience angle and uh, think about how we're going to potentially treat this very serious illness in the future. Yeah, sounds fantastic. And Devon, are you you're mainly coordinating the event? Are you speaking as well? I'm not, no. Um, yeah, the coordination has kind of taken over and I thought um, there's so many brilliant researchers in Sheffield that I thought we needed to get as many of them out there as possible and I'm still kind of an early researcher so yeah. there's probably more qualified people but yeah I think we've got a great 
um, a great programme lined up um, with a variety of talks so everyone can learn something new about atoms to uh, the brain to the kidneys to advertising yeah <laughs> yeah brilliant so can you give us a taste of some of the other events that are going to be held uh, yes, so I have uh, my trusty uh, notes here. So we have uh, Professor Tony Prescott from the university, and he is the director of Sheffield Robotics, and he is going to explore the future of robots and um, artificial intelligence as they become more social. And he is going to ask the question, could we one day have personal relationships with robots? So I think that's going to challenge a few people and provoke some interesting questions. Mm. Uh, we also have a talk which is going to surround edible experiments, uh, so bringing some kind of the chemistry out of the lab into the pub, um, and that's by Joanna Buckley, and she's going to share her passion for food and chemistry through the edible experiments and hopefully answer those food-based questions that you've always wanted to ask. Um, and we also have talks surrounding animal models, but how we're as a university aiming to reduce and replace animal models. Uh, so we have computational uh, models coming about, so we'll have someone who's going to talk about that. Um, and lots, lots more. I could go on and on, but <laughs> I know we have so much time. Yeah. So can I ask you, Sarah and Laura, you're giving the talks, um, are they going to be easily understood by someone who perhaps hasn't got much of a scientific background like me? <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, the point of Pint of Science is to be inclusive for everyone. So so all the speakers know that the audience is not, uh, they don't, might not have much background in, in science. So uh, that's how we've styled it, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think the talks are for everyone. I might be an expert in health psychology. I don't know nothing about theoretical physics, <laughs> but um, the speakers aim to wrap it up in terms that are easy to understand, um, pick a topic that's interesting, that's trendy, and the talks are really short. And in the end, if you don't understand anything, you can still have a beer. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So um, can I ask, is Sheffield University particularly outstanding or well-known for any type of research. I don't know much about it. Um, so the university is a member of the Russell Group um, and it's leading. It's a leading research-led institution with research excellence across a range of disciplines um, and I think you have a specific example for me. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so at least in the psychology department um, more than 80% of our research is rated as world leading or internationally excellent and we have experts working across neuroscience, across robotics, child development, social psychology and healthcare. So I really do believe that our research drives innovation and improves health. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> and we hear a lot about more women are getting into science, more women GPs. Do you find that, is that your experience as well as female scientists? Yeah, so there's definitely a push to um, promote women in science and get them in uh, higher up positions. Uh, well, in psychology, I remember from my undergraduate, we were 200 females and two males. So I think we dominate the sector of psychology, but then as you move further up in your degrees, it does become more equal, and I certainly welcome that. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're aiming for, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Lovely. So, uh, finally, can I ask you all, if someone with very little knowledge of science is thinking of coming along to Pint of Science, what would you say to them? So I would say definitely come along because you're going to learn something new and as a neuroscientist uh, I know that learning is a great way to improve your brain health and keep the brain active. <laughs> Can I ask you Laura the same thing? Um, yeah, absolutely. You have to come along. There's so many interesting topics. There's exciting research that you can hear about. You meet people that you usually wouldn't talk to. And it's just really inspiring. It's food for thought. And the venues are just amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And can I ask you that same thing? Yeah. Yes. So I echo everything they said. Um, and kind of probably to reiterate the point, we're, we're really wanting you to engage with the research of Sheffield in a relaxed, informal and inviting environment and hopefully inspire you and hopefully teach you something new. Fantastic and the university is such an integral part of the city isn't it? It'd be great to yes. meet you all. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you very much Devon, Sarah and Laura. For thank you. Here. Thank you. Thanks. And you're listening to Communities Live on Sheffield Live Radio 93.2 FM with me Susie Casson and T-Boy. 
And thank you very much to our guests, Devon Smith, Sarah Morgan and Laura von Nordheim from Pint of Science, which is this coming Monday to Wednesday. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. the 15th to the 17th of May. Great. And how can we find out more? Uh, so we have a website. Um, it is www.pintofscience.co.uk forward slash events forward slash Sheffield. So that kind of covers the whole the whole of the programme. You can find all the information you would.